See, brother Joe is laughing from that corner. He says, yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Good evening, everybody. And Jesus loves you very, 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 very much. And brothers and sisters, I'm really glad to share today's topic with you. It's all about faith. I'm sure if I was close to you, you would have probably stoned me today. But <laughs> I'm glad I'm not close to you all, so you all cannot stone me. So I can speak whatever I want, whether Brother Vijay likes it or not. <laughs> you know, okay. we, we have got something else in our hands. What is that? The moment you start going off the track, we'll meet you. <laughs> <laughs> So, all okay. the weapons God has designed properly, don't worry. <laughs> amen, 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 amen. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. But don't okay. make it big, brother. It is coming one for now. Make it big. Yeah, just open it up. That's okay? Little more. There's no more. You cannot open more than that. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Okay. Wonderful. Now it's gone blank. One second, one second, one second. Yeah, take your time, take your time. Okay. Yeah. So, this is what it is. Mm. Now it's better? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, excellent. So, we are going to talk about faith. Everybody knows what faith is, right? Yes. Faith is the substance of the things hoped for. It is the evidence of the things not seen. Okay? Yeah. So praise God that um, we have an understanding of what faith is. But let us go to the step of understanding. Faith is the substance. Faith is the evidence. So without this faith, you cannot get your miracle. Are you getting me? So if you need your miracle, you need to have faith. faith. If you need your bread, you need to have the substance, which is the, which is the flour. Yeah. If yeah. you need to catch the robber, you need to have the evidence. So, which is again, your faith. So everything is centered around this word called faith. Now, what is, what is the thing? If we are having faith, then the Bible tells us we will be able to please God. This is what the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. Amen. It is impossible. Yes. And why should we not please our God? What is the point in saying I have faith? How many of you can say that I don't have faith? All of you will agree with me that you'll have faith. Yes. If you didn't have faith, you wouldn't be listening to me today. Yes, yes. If you didn't have faith, you wouldn't be going to church. You didn't have faith, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing, praying, praying rosaries and this, that and the other. All because you have faith, you're doing all these things. But imagine after doing all these things, God says, I'm not pleased with you. What will happen? It would be the most disastrous moment of your life. But God would say, I am not pleased with you. I'm very, very unpleased with you. What would you feel? Supposing you're working for a company and your boss tells you, I'm not happy with you. I'm not pleased with you. You immediately, your thoughts would be running. Okay, next I'm going to be fired. And you don't want to be fired. So praise God. God is saying, if you want to please me, you need to have faith. If you want to please me, you need to have faith. Now we know what faith is already. We know what is faith. We have described, the Bible has described what faith is. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 We know what faith is, right? And we know that it is impossible to please God without our faith. Yes, yes. And here in Romans chapter 12, verse 3, it says, the Lord has allocated to each one a measure of faith. Everyone has been given a measure of faith. Even an atheist cannot say that I don't have faith. I don't believe in God. I don't have faith. I don't believe in God. 
No. Even an atheist cannot say that. Because everybody has been given a measure of faith. Amen. He chooses not to believe. He chooses to give up on God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let us understand. If everyone has been given a measure of faith, we will not be able to deny God and we will not be able to say to God when on that last day of judgment, you didn't give me faith, that's why I didn't believe in you. God has given everyone a measure of faith. But mind you, if you have been given a measure of faith, that faith that is given is like a mustard seed. This faith has to grow. This faith has to grow. Amen. And how are you going to make this faith grow? Here is what is the answer. Here is the answer. From faith hearing. comes. Faith comes from hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing the word of God. Most of the time, we don't hear the word of God. Amen. Most of the time we spend prayer and this and that. Fine. All that is great. But if you remember in Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 to 10, Jesus overcame temptations by quoting the scriptures. Jesus had to quote the scriptures. Jesus had to know the scriptures. Otherwise the devil would defeat him. Amen. If you don't know your scriptures, if you don't know the word of God, the devil will defeat you. Amen. So, my beloved, my beloved, my beloved brothers and sisters, today you have the Bible with you. Today you can open and read. A time may come and the time will come that you may not have the Bible anymore with you. You may be in prison. You may be persecuted. Many things can happen and many things will happen. What will be your fate at that moment? Everything that will happen to you will shake your faith, will rock your faith. Be careful. So, if we have the faith which is as small as a grain of a mustard seed, God says, you can move the mountain. Amen. Amen. And there was this very young boy. He has been hearing a lot about faith. And one day, he decides to try his faith. He closes his eyes, looks at the mountain from the back of his house. And he says to the mountain, the Bible says, if I have faith as a grain of mustard seed, I can command these mountains to move and the mountain will move. So he says, in the name of Jesus, I command you, mountain, move. He says that two, three times, strongly, loudly. He slowly opens his eyes and sees that the mountain was still there. <laughs> and he says, I knew you would not move. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's our faith. That's our faith. That's our faith, brothers and sisters. A lot of us, we pray. We pray for our parents, we pray for our brothers and sisters, we pray for our friends, we pray for healing, healing from cancer, healing from heart disease, healing from, healing from let's say, COVID-19, healing from many things. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I said COVID-19, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, forgiven. <laughs> forgiven, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> okay, so yeah. some people, pray for all of these things and especially those who are having sort of cancer or whatever they believe hope beyond hope i believe i i feel god is going to heal me i know god is going to heal me i know god is going to heal me amen and then after some time when they become worse and worse and worse doubts start coming fear start coming and they go start worrying and, 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 and thinking, what sort of a God is this that is not listening to my prayer? Have you all come across such people? Yes, yes, yes. Thank Why you. does it happen? 
How does it happen? What happened to that faith where I had believed and everything? Something is wrong somewhere. Something is not matching. And then finally, we say, maybe it was not God's will. Maybe God has a different plan. Maybe God took her away or God took him away and relieved him of her, of her pain or of his pain and so on. We come up with different answers and different things. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. Praise God for that. Hallelujah. But, hallelujah. Okay. Some say I have a weak faith. Some say, please pray for me. Your faith is strong. Various people come up with various things. But mind you, there is one more thing that the Bible tells us that is seen in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. When you say, I am afraid, God says, I have not given you the spirit of fear. Amen. Amen. When you say, I am afraid, and God is saying something, what is God saying? I have not given you the spirit of fear. Yeah. So from where did the spirit of fear come, brothers and sisters? <coughs> Who put that spirit of fear there? From the Jesus is saying, God is saying in 2 Timothy 1, 7, God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. He has given you the spirit of power. He has given you the spirit of love and he has given you a spirit of sound mind. Meditating on these three words, power, love and sound mind is something very, very important. I could go on for hours thinking, talking about it, but I'll not talk about it today. Today, I just want you to understand that God is telling us, I have not given you the spirit of fear. So who has given you the spirit of fear? The devil. Amen. Why should I carry what the devil is giving me? Yes. Why should I live? And when the fear comes, what happens? It grips you. It paralyzes you. Yes. You're not able to move. You're not able to think properly. You're not able to do things properly. All the time you're worrying about that same problem. Amen. Imagine just thinking about the word of God all the time. What a powerful person you would be. What a man of faith you would be. What a woman of faith you would be. But just because that fear has gripped you. Why did that fear grip you? Because the doctor said you have COVID-19. Oh, sorry again, COVID-19. <laughs> cancer, cancer, cancer. <laughs> okay. The doctor said you have cancer. The doctor said you have 100% or 99% heart block. What happens? You're filled with fear. You're paralyzed just because of one word from the doctor. Till the doctor did not say anything, you were happy, everything was okay. Imagine the same thing, Jesus facing the devil. The Amen. devil is saying it is written that God will give his angels charge over you. What did Jesus do? Jesus counterquoted the scripture and said, it is also written, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. Amen. Amen. So if the doctor is saying something, if we have faith, strong faith, we need to tell the doctor, doctor, medically, you're 100% correct. But spiritually, I want to tell you what my God is saying to me right now, that I am not going to die of this cancer. Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Amen. 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 If my God says this, I am countering your words that are likely to bring fear into me. Hallelujah. I need to stop that fear coming even close to me. Yes. yes. If I don't do that, many people will tell you it is natural. It is, it is natural to have fear. It is natural. That is all I don't believe. 
some people are sugar coating the scriptures and some coating are sugar coating the messages i'm sorry i don't believe any of that i believe in the undiluted word of god amen amen if god is saying i have not given you the spirit of fear he has not given us the spirit of fear and if i have that fear there is something wrong with me hallelujah hallelujah there is something drastically wrong and why that fear will come is because i'm afraid of dying no that my jesus has conquered death my jesus has conquered death i have no fear of that yes <coughs> give me a second please Sorry about that. No problem. Lord. No problem. So Jesus is telling us, God is telling us that fear will steal you of your faith. Fear will rob you of your faith. So I cannot allow anybody to rob my house. I cannot allow anybody to rob my faith. And I'm encouraging you, brothers and sisters, don't allow the devil to rob you of your faith. Amen. For a Christian, there is no death. Yes. A Christian is transferred from one life to another, a better life. Amen. You believe it, I believe it, we believe it, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. We should not be afraid because Jesus loves us. He will carry us in his arms. He'll not leave us alone. Jesus. He is not going to leave us alone. Why should we be afraid? If anybody has to be afraid, all the worldly people have to be afraid, not you and me. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Nothing can bring fear to me. Nothing can bring fear to you. Jesus. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Anything. Why, why was the devil telling, telling Jesus, jump from there, God will give his angels charge over you? Because that is the fact, that is the truth. If you're falling down, your God, your Father will bear you in His arms. He'll not let your foot strike to the ground. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 If the devil is, is going to give you cancer, God can heal you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if God wants to take you through that cancer, He's giving you a chance to repent, to, to confess, to do everything, and be prepared to go back to Him. Amen. Amen. Don't be afraid of cancer. Don't be afraid of anyone. Don't be afraid of anything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, if you lose your job, don't be afraid. Tomorrow, if you, if you have no food to eat, don't be afraid. Amen. I'm going to tell you something more. I'm going to tell you a lot more. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible tells us in James chapter 2, verse 26. In chapter 2, verse 26. Can you see something? I <laughs> yes. like this slide. Yes, yes. It's really good. <laughs> Faith without works is dead. dead. Amen. Amen. Faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. What is the use of saying I have faith if your faith is not working anything good for you? If you have faith and if you have no food, you will command the food to come on your table. Amen. I am serious about it, brothers and sisters. If you have faith and if you have no food on your table, command the food to come on your table. It will come by the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With man, things are impossible, but with God, nothing is impossible. Oh, amen. And amen. all things are possible unto him who believes. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. 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 If you don't make your faith work for you, what is the use of having that faith? St. James is telling us in James chapter 2 verse 26, faith without works is dead. And it says, show me your faith without your works. I will show you my faith with my works. That is what St. James is telling us in James chapter 2. So faith and works go together. 
Alleluia. If there are no works, you cannot say that you have faith. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Maybe we have to look a little bit about the faith of Jesus. Would you like to look at the faith of Jesus? Yes. Why not? Faith. What Jesus displayed. Can you see this? Yes. 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 What can you see? Beautiful. Jesus walking on water. Amen. What is the water supposed to do? Water is supposed to drown you. Yes. Unless you have a, have a swimming uh, jacket or something like that. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Water is, you are not supposed to be, as a human being, you can't walk on water. It's beautiful. But Jesus is walking on water. What does it mean? What does it mean that Jesus is walking on the water? It means a lot, my beloved brothers and sisters. No matter what is your problem, no matter what is your difficulty, no matter what is your trouble, they're all that is water under you. Amen. You should be able to walk on your troubles. Hallelujah. You should be able to overcome your troubles. Yes, Those Lord. troubles are given to you to make your faith strong. Please, please, so please. you will put your faith into action. And as you put your faith into action, you're becoming strong. Your faith becomes strong and the devil is defeated. Hallelujah. Those problems that come in your life yes. are not brought or not sent by the Lord just like that. They're sent to make your faith strong. They're sent because God knows that you, without that faith, you cannot please him. So you have to overcome your problems by using that faith. That faith that works for you so that you become more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you see here? Lazarus is being raised from the dead. Yes. Jesus is telling his disciples, Lazarus is sleeping. <coughs> and the disciples are telling him, if he is sleeping, he'll get well. Why are you going? He says, I want to tell you plainly, Lazarus is dead. Amen. Let us go to raise him. Jesus knew even before he came to Bethany that he was going to raise Lazarus from the dead who was four days in the tomb. Do we have that faith? Brothers and sisters, do we have that much of faith? Hallelujah. Or are we just going to pray? God has given us the power. God doesn't want us to pray and pray and beg and beg and beg. Jesus. God wants us to command, like he said, Lazarus, come out. <laughs> God wants us to simply command and say, Lazarus, come out. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise Are the we Lord. ready to command? Jesus did not have any doubt that the father will, will listen to him and, and Lazarus would come out from the tomb. He knew. And we need to know that our faith will be answered, will be honored. Amen. What is happening here? Oh. Jesus is feeding 5,000 men with five loaves and two fishes. fishes. Amen. Jesus was asking Philip, Philip, we need to give these people food. Philip is saying one month's wages, one year's wages are not enough to feed these people. And Jesus takes these five loaves and two fish and tells, okay, make the people to sit down. Can you imagine the faith? Amen. Can you imagine if Jesus could multiply that fish and this bread and, and give it to those 5,000 people? He cannot do that for you and me? Yes, why not? Why he will not do that for us? 
Correct. Very true. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. Do we have that faith? If I have lost my job, God doesn't know that I have lost my job. If I do not have food on my table, God doesn't know that I don't have food on my table. Amen. Somebody has to tell him. My beloved brothers and sisters, let's not fool ourselves. Let us not fool ourselves. Let us ask whether our faith is really working for us or not. Whether we are really serious with our faith and whether we are really serious with our God. What he said in the Bible, we are putting it into practice every day or not. Hallelujah. What do we see here? A man by the pool side of Bethesda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This man was lying paralyzed there for so many years. And Jesus comes and asks him, do you want to get well? And this man is complaining, grumbling. Nobody is there to put me inside. And before I go, somebody else goes and gets healed. And I'm here for so many years and blah, 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 blah. And Jesus is asking him, do you want to get healed? A simple question. Yes or no? And Jesus says to him, pick up your mat and go home. Amen. He did not kneel there and pray and this and that. Just said, pick up your mat and go home. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this is our life. This is the life which God has given us. A life full of faith. Yes. A life full of faith. Amen. And we have to use that faith to work for ourselves. God will give us every opportunity, one after another, to overcome yes. and to be more than conquerors to Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. We will see. I will tell you a small story of my life. Please. Yeah. One day, my sister in law called me from Goa. And she said, Hillary. Mom had a heart attack last night and she is sinking. Doctors have given up on her. And my passport was stuck in the immigration. I was not in a position to go. And it would take a long time for me to get my passport out because I had to cancel my, my previous license and, and so advertisements had to be put and so on and so forth and go to a new license and so on. So there was a big problem there. So I prayed. And as I prayed, I told my God. I said, God, I don't want you to keep my mother for any reason. I am sure she is not ready. The day she is ready, you take her. I don't want her to go to purgatory. I don't want her to go to hell. I want her to come straight to you. Hallelujah. I don't want her to keep her because I love her or because I want her or this or that. Yes. I want you to prepare her soul and take her to you. Amen. The day she is ready to come to you, you can take her. Jesus. And as I prayed and prayed and prayed, God said to me, don't worry, she will live at least another two years. Praise God. And I called my sister-in-law and I told her, that don't worry, nothing will happen to mom. She will live at least for another two years. Amen. So my sister-in-law is thinking this guy is gone cuckoo completely. <laughs> completely gone out of his head. Yeah. She said last night again she had another heart attack and now she's completely gone. She is uh, urinating and she is passing motions and everything on the bed and, and still she is not resting. She is very restless and she is sort of mentally disturbed and so on and nothing can be done for your mother. I said, don't worry. You don't need to do. Doctors don't need to do anything. My God has done everything. She will live at least two years. 
Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My, my God told it, it is sealed, it is closed, it is done, it is over. <laughs> I had no doubt about that. Yeah. I had absolutely no doubt. And yeah. there was no way my mother could go at that time. So slowly she spent more than one, two months in the, in the hospital. She came home. She was on the bed for more than six months. She was completely a gone case. She had become so thin, skin and bones. Slowly she recovered. She started coming to the table and started eating with us. Light food. Slowly, slowly she started going to the toilet. Slowly, slowly she started having bath on her own. <laughs> And slowly, slowly, she started walking the whole house and everything. And she lived not only two years after that, she lived more than 10 years after that. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I think, I think that was one of the trips when I went and I saw her at your place. You remember? Yes, bro. Amen. I I remember. That is the time the healing was going on very well. And she was up and yeah. talking. There was no problem Amen. at all. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 And finally, I want to give you the last story. The story of Peter who goes, Peter and John who was going to the temple and they see the man sitting at the beautiful gate of the temple. Yes. And Peter says, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I to you. Amen. Such as I have, give I to you. Look intently at me, he says. Look closely to me. Please go. And Peter, what does Peter give this man? Such as I have, give I to you. Whatever I have, I'm giving to you. What does Peter give him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peter is giving him healing. Amen. No, not only healing. He says, get up and walk. He walks, he jumps, he lips. Yes. All his life, he had never walked. He just jumps and lips and walks. But imagine, that is not all that he gave him. He gave him his faith. He had, Peter had faith. This man had no faith. Peter gave him his faith so that he could lip and jump and walk. So today, I want to give you my faith, brothers and sisters. Please, today, Please. I want to impart my faith to you. Jesus. So that you will never lack faith. Amen. You will never lack miracles in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Take that faith like that man who was paralyzed. Yes. Today, most of us are paralyzed with fear. Today, I want to say to you, silver and gold, you don't need. You need faith. Yes. Silver and gold, you don't need. You need faith. Man, because with silver and gold, you cannot buy anything today. Amen. 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 So I don't want to give you silver and gold. I want to give you faith. Take the faith that I'm giving you today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And rise up and leap and jump and walk and shout and scream. That Jesus is your Lord. Jesus is your healer. Jesus is your deliverer. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 And may you lack nothing in your life. May you have all that God wants you to have. And God will not make miracles in your life. You need to make miracles in your life. Yes, yes, with the yes. power of the word that God has given you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank Praise you. The Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Wonderful, brother. Very nice. That was fire. Praise God. Very nice. Very beautiful. I, I hope everybody is set on fire now. Ah, yeah. Very much. <laughs> Everybody's faith has definitely increased. I'm just leaving it open. Anybody has questions, brother? Before we go ahead, Brother Joe, please can you introduce that brother from Calgary? Can you introduce that brother from Calgary, please? He's joined actually, so He's gone? Hillary knows very well. Ah, 
Who is he? Brother Joe, who is he? Yes, brother. We can hear you. Brother Joe, we can hear you. Uh, he, he'll just sit, they will introduce themselves just now, just a minute. Uh, yeah, please. Brother Hillary, you know him. Yes, yes. Brother Hubert, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you? Thank you so much for your message this morning. Or for Amen. you guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Thank praise you. the Lord. Hello, brother. Anna, how are you? Very well, brother. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. A Bible what did study. You to his head. You pulled all his hair, huh? Yeah. <laughs> brother, as they say, hey, hey today, gone tomorrow. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. All right. You, to, today's message and all the Bible study sessions we had with you in Sharjah, everything came alive again this morning for us. Thank Amen. you so much. And may God bless you abundantly more and more. And Praise many God. more may come to know the saving grace of our Lord Jesus through your messages and through your ministry. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. God is good. We have to prepare ourselves. Tough times are ahead. Tough times are coming. We have to prepare ourselves and be ready for every season, in season and out of season. Hallelujah. 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 Well, uh, Joe, thank you so much for sending me the link. May God bless you too. And Brother Vijay, I'm familiar with your voice. We haven't uh, met or talked too many times. About that. <laughs> brother, yes. brother, with you coming today, I think now our whole channel is going to become a Canada channel. There are about four or five already there. And it's going and growing and growing. My God. We are in Praise Canada, but out of Canada. There are so many I others. passed on their uh, numbers to Brother Vijay, so uh, he will send the message every day now. Hallelujah. Yeah, I added yeah, it to the willing, group. If it is convenient, yeah, we will, uh, God willing, if it is convenient, we would like to log in. Please, please, please. And this we, is the we time have... I'm usually in the office at work. Oh, today we, can, we can post it on YouTube or we can post it on uh, Instagram and stuff like that and uh, let uh, let everyone see it whenever you guys have the time. Praise oh, God. Praise thank, God. Thank yeah. you for that. Every day's preaching will be on the upper room. You'll get it in the morning now. You're added to our Friday group. So you'll get the link every morning. Okay. Morning according to UAE time. So that's the Much time. Much appreciate you're... that. Thank yeah. you. Sure. So you're welcome and it's been a pleasure, brother, to see you in the name of Jesus. And uh, more than anything, I think Brother Hillary is finding all his lost family here on that group there. <laughs> Every day, they say, Are, Brother Hillary knows him, Brother Hillary knows him, all coming from the Bible study and this study. And yeah, I, I, I saw, I, I was able to view the slice of heaven on earth as well. Oh, you went Man. to the Lord's <laughs> You went to the Lord's branch? I no, did, no, on the, yeah, on the, on the opening on the background. background. <laughs> on the background, on the background. You should use slice, slice of heaven on earth. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> once, once you get time, you should physically go there and enjoy. Please, yeah. guys, guys, come please come, day. please come, please come. We all need to meet on the ranch one day. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Look forward you to know, that, brother. You know, brother, this reminds me of many a Hindi film where you find a lot of stories which are, you know, come together and they're lost and then they rejoin again. This is more like that, you know. Lost, Amen. everybody's gone, migrated and suddenly they come back. Thank, uh, thank God for the technology. At least we are united again in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Just, Amen. Just today we concluded a three days uh, youth retreat on the, on the Zoom for the, for the youth of the Lord's Ranch. Uh, there were more than 100 participants. And all went extremely, extremely, extremely well by the grace of God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 And it was, it was uh, conducted by Father Alvin. Right? Father Alvin, myself, Adeline, um, and um, there was another guy who was playing the music in, uh, in, uh, from Pune. Wonderful. Wonderful. 100. Yeah. Wow. Really nice. More than 100. More than 100. And plus people were watching on the YouTube and all that. But could you accommodate everybody, brother? Yes, we have increased. We have increased to 500. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Wonderful.
our job towards these times are to touch as many lives as possible to say change as many lives as possible next next weekend next week weekend we're going to have a marathi retreat friday saturday sunday yeah we'll we'll send it out the invitation to everybody so all the marathi speaking people like you can join <laughs> <laughs> definitely to polish up my marathi willi is there yeah even sure. even concrete concrete speaking people like brother joe he's also good at uh, this thing you know all all that so there is no problem at all we will we'll all speak uh, the same this thing uh, okay we are leaving it open anybody has questions please ask we are just leaving it open okay because we heard a wonderful preaching but, but you need to open the mics mics we have open one minute one minute yeah please raise your hand please raise your hand please raise your hands nobody has questions about faith no nobody has questions no questions looks like you you have grilled the faith totally into them <laughs> No, no, they have given up on me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, brother Joe, can you please uh, tell us something about uh, the activity which you are doing of collecting, you know, uh, giving food from the church? Please, can you say something on that? Yeah, from the MSC, what we have done is uh, uh, we we asked everybody to log into the website and then uh, give their names. Those who want. uh help actually so basically what we are trying to do is uh, we are not going to hand over cash or anything it will be uh, food packets actually that's what we are trying to do now initial uh, run we had about 400 uh, people who had applied plus um, the announcement has gone from the church as well so uh, directly the messages will go to the church as well. so if anybody is in need they need to uh, contact the uh, contact number and the website like you have to log in and then uh, uh, they have to enroll themselves section and then we will reach out to them that's one part uh, to help all those who are in need at the same time those who want to contribute again uh, the fund should go to the church brother vijay has already uh, uh, circulated the uh, details and also please do whatever you can because there are a lot of people uh who are in need actually and especially i mean when you get to know some of them uh, they they don't even have one meal actually so let's all be generous and do whatever best we can and at the same time if you all know of anybody please do let us know brother you also talk about the contributions no yeah donations yeah donations actually the money has to be deposited in the church account brother you already uh, circulated the details yes. correct yes yes i circulated the details and uh, the whole thing is come out on the video as well you know the father's announcement yes father father's announcement of ci that's right yeah, that is also come so you know you look at that and you know what it is and let everybody see uh, what is happened is the church has taken a very good decision that nobody will no groups will give uh, uh, this grocery or any type of help individually they will do it through the church so we strengthen the hands of the church and we see that whoever comes to you please show them the way to the church show them brother joe and he will make the uh, provision whatever it is i hope if there is. are any sorry yeah if yeah. there are any anybody else in any other emirates like for example abu dhabi uh, dubai uh, rasul kem or anywhere uh, this is an initiative uh, which was started by nsc so uh it's there in all the parishes you can let us know actually we we will be helping in all the parishes amen amen wonderful brother very very nice a uh, sister marinette sister marinette yes brother yes please say the closing prayer yes and then after that brother blondel will play will play a song for us brother blondel bring your guitar back into your hands I saw you with that gita. Okay, come. In in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Abba Father, we thank you for all those who have gathered here this evening to pray together. 
bless all those who could not make it today lord jesus yes lord bless our superstar samuel our precious Amen. child for the yes. meaningful rosary he recites daily yes and yes brother vijay rightly said he is a prophet in the making yes god bless you darling samuel and your little sister yes lord bless sister jenny for the wonderful praise and worship so powerfully she led us with such meaningful hymns amen amen blessings upon our dynamic fiery brother hillary for the word of god he shared amen on faith yes brother without faith we cannot get our miracles yes lord and without faith it is impossible to praise god jesus thank yes. you father god for helping us grow stronger in faith with the power yes. of love and of sound mind yes lord. amen amen father god and what a coincidence brother hilary this morning itself when one of my friends i had read my message about my son who was stuck on the ship for 52 days she asked me how calm i was and composed but i told her that it's the faith in jesus and i know our jesus is working behind the scenes and he is going to work a miracles thank you abba father for the abundant blessings upon me and all the families and for getting my son and the seafarer safely back home to india yes you made this happen for the god and yes, yes lord jesus bless their employers for this great act of kindness for making provisions for the employees yes, yes. father god i also thank all the prayer warriors and all the intercessors on the rosary group for praying with me for this miracle yes lord father god today being mothers day we pray especially for all the mothers worldwide yes lord a mother who is always there with her kids and her family hallelujah a mother who is always at work and aspires to be the best version of mama mary yes amen all caring for her children and family yes lord yes lord In proverbs 31 31 it says honor her for all her hands have done yes lord. yes father bless all the mamas everywhere with loads of strength and good health hallelujah thank you father god thank you for your continuous act of kindness and thank abundant you. favors hallelujah and inspire us to give generously Yes, in all that we have during this time of need beat mm -hmm. our time our money our provisions lord yes. there are so many who are in need lord jesus hallelujah thank you father god for using us as your instruments hallelujah we pray in your matchless name amen amen, amen. 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 wonderful prayer wonderful prayer very praise nice god. praise you god praise you lord hallelujah it's such a blessing hallelujah. because your son was stuck there on the sea see yes, see yes, yes. brother hilary spoke on faith you had a strong faith you asked everybody to pray and see what a wonderful miracle is taking place yes. they left today they left today uh, sorry and they will re they left today us and they will reach uh, next month uh, maybe goa or mumbai on the 8th of june Eight eight two, no? Yeah, the the ship has left. Yeah, right now oh. they have about six thousand five hundred plus crew members, and they are still picking up others. Okay, okay, okay. That means eighth of June will be party time. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, dear sister. You are really a blessed lady. And is the Lord God bless, God bless, God bless. So God bless. God bless. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, brother Blondie, let's have it. Rock it away, man. Put brother Blondie on. Okay. Yes, go right ahead. Hold on, my mic is on. Yeah, 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 it is on. It is on. Yeah. That automatically will come on. If I have to sing a song, it will come on. Otherwise, they'll cut me off fully. <laughs> go right ahead. They know this. They know this guy has got a big talk. He talks too much. <laughs> I'm only human. Wow. I'm just a man. Help me believe in what I could be and all that I am. Show me the stairway. I have to climb. Lord, show my strength. Teach me to take one day at a time. 
วันเดียจะทำดีเธอแต่โทไลมาติงสองคืนนี้ Just give me the thing to every day What I have to do Yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus And yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus And tomorrow will never be nice. Lord, help me today. Show me the way. One day at a time. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. Just give me the strength to every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow will never be nice. Lord, help me today. Show me the way. One day at a time. Very nice, very nice, brother. Very nice. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, amazing voice, and the guitar is playing really better. Amazing voice, and the guitar is playing really better. No. नमस्कार 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 <laughs> praise God! Praise God! Billy, Billy boy. Yes, Baba. Billy, Billy, thumbs up, right? But Chakri, get up. So, I'm going to say. We can link part of it. Boy, come. Billy boy, come fast. We can go for some uh, pig sex. Some <laughs> yes, pig <laughs> sex. Uh, uh, Billy, he remember. He remember.